Hello guys and welcome back by another track review of Diablo 4. I like that every time that I click one character that these characters change. Like, let's this is a dude, right? Let's click in there. Let's go out. And now it's a female, and now he's a dude, and that was a female before. Alright, let's go to this one, the necromancer. The Anna Enigmatic? The Enigmatic Necromancer are custodians of the balance between life and death. They can raise powerful undead armies to fight for them, who will also while also wielding the powerful magics of bone, shadow and blood. Undead army. Summon a host of undead minions to do your bidding, including skeletal warriors, skeletal mages and the golem. Bone. Use the power of bone magic to physically assail enemies. Bone skills often gain increased power when you have large amount of essence. Darkness. Wear down enemies over time. Darkness skills utilize crowd control elements so that enemies are kept at bay while they die a slow, painful death. And blood. Siphon the life from enemies with blood magic. Siphon the life from enemies with blood magic which has defensive ben benefits while becoming more powerful as you increase your maximum life. Alright. So we just did the male barbarian and I did the male necromancer for my first look. So I'm going to play the female necromancer in this one. But first, let's check out the prefix of the male and how the stuff looks on him. So customize, this is the dude. Four different kinds of faces. Of course, all the skin tones. I'm not clicking every one of them. And you have the, um, I forgot how it's called. But let's go for pale as fuck. Eye colors, you can freak people out with like red eye colors. It is too bad. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to see. All right, so it is not too bad. You have full dark eyes. Nice. So hairstyles, let's start with one. Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry I laugh, but this is not fit a necromancer. It wait, are these exactly the same hairstyles as with the barbarian? There is no difference in there at all? Oh there is not. Oh well, that is cheap. Really? They are different. They are definitely the same. Oh, they are so the same. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. This one is different. Okay, so they're not all fully the same. All right, that's good. That's a Karen hairdo. My lord. All right, let's go with that one. That fits him the most. Colors are the same as with the barbarian. So I'm happy you have like things that you can change up, but it is kind of poopsy. Oh, these are different. Perfect. That it is all like the same shit if you're a barbarian or an necromancer. And I think that's, that's kind of fucked. These are all the same too. Alright, let's start with uh, makeup. The makeups are the same. Oh, how wondrous. Jesus. I don't see any difference. This is probably the same too. Well, we don't see with that hair, is it? Alright, there we go. Yeah, this is literally exactly the same as with the barbarian. So I will go through it on the male. I will not go through all this on the female because it is literally the same. I will go through it, but a little bit faster. Because it is just exactly the same as with the barbarian. And if you want to see it more expendable than this, than this time, <laughs> Go watch the barbarian. That's all I have to say. I will show these because it will look a lot different than on the barbarian. Because the barbarian was a hefty butched up dude. And this is just skinny willy. 
So it does look a wee bit different, I guess. Even though they're the same. For this one, I do like it on the Necromancer male. I did not really like it on the Barbarian male. But it looked quite good. Alright, and same as with the other one, you have different kinds of colors that you can put on your body. As you can see. That was it for this one, so let's go to the female presets. So we have four different kinds of faces. Even this is different, she almost has no boob and the barbarian has like chunkers. Well, like bunkers, how do you say that? Those were big. Different eye colors. Different skin colors for her. On the Necromancer, I would say take like one of the lighter skin colors that there is because of, or oh, this also fits. They're like between life and death. This is also pretty cool though. This is more that in the life, and this is like because that is like white, and here you have like red. It looks like burn marks. Is it also with the darker colors? Yeah, look, this is way darker than this. I think that's pretty cool made. That's cool. It fits so good. And then you have these colors. But for this one also, I will go with white, because, I mean, it's, well, it's literally white. It's not even a, a, a pink tone color, it's just white. Because they're dead, in my opinion. Alright, let's first go for the makeup. And no hair, so one. And after that, we can do the rest. I'm still doing everything, I'm still showing everything. Let's go. Go for that. Well, let's go for a creepy one. It still fits differently on every character, basically. Alright, there we go. Go with that one. And then the body coloring. Let's take the darkest one so that's easier to see. Because yet again, this is different on every character. What you can see, what you cannot see, basically. How it looks like. Of course, we need to do the hairdos. 
Guess it also looks different on every character. It's literally just like a leather bondage around the chest. Yeah, and this one I like it better on the male than on the female. Hmm. And then the different colors and I would like to go for the bloody color because I think that's the best one. Let's go for the hairstyle. The facial hair, so the eyebrows. And then the hair itself. Same as in all the others, but still I want to show you guys. Karen is a wee bit better on this one than on the other one though, but I'm going for that one because it suits best. The different colors that you have, like the two-tone color. A lot of them are like two-toned. She is twitchy as fuck. Let's go for black, because why the fuck not? Um, that was everything. Yes. Let's start. Let's go in there and let's see what we can do. Skip the cutscene. If you want a cutscene, go and check out the first book. Before I freeze. Really? Do you think so? I don't think so. So you can just click and say, I want to walk over there. Or you can just hold your button. You can have four friends. And if you do a fifth one, one of your other friends will die. Oh, it will just poof. And what happened? It would just not come. Oh, it looks pretty cool though. And again, if you hold shift, um, you would just hit and you can bash forward. In the dark. Ah, he bit me. Careful, he's a wild one. What's it to you? Also, in hush. I'm sorry, wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. Come, I'll explain. Town portal. Now she will walk towards the inn. Thought there was like a wolf or something over here. 
Oh uh, no, wait, do I miss one of my friends? <laughs> okay, not anymore. Wait, no, one of my friends is gone, gone. Alright, she's so in the inn. Fire's looking good. Could you protect us from whatever is. Alright, and now leveled. Let's check out the skill point. So, I could do Bone Splinter. Fire three bone splinters dealing two by two damage. Uh, each subsequent time an enemy is hit by the same class of bone splinter, you gain one essence. Hemorrhage is the blood type. Burst an enemy blood dealing six to eight damage. Uh, hemorrhage has a twenty percent chance to form a blood orb. Uh, tear the flesh from an enemy dealing nine damage per second, uh, forming a usable corpse with the flesh every two and a half seconds. Nice. Uh, sweep an eternal scythe in front of you, dealing 3 to 4 damage. Hitting the enemy with the reap, increase your damage reduction by 50% for 2 seconds. Let's go with that one. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Where's the other one, though? You know what I'm gonna do? Better. Because I had nothing. Let's go assign. Oh, no, I don't want to assign you. So now I murdered them all because one was bugger somewhere. Now I have all four back. That's what I wanted. Right, let's do a wee bit of damaging in here. I got more bodies now, but oh shit, wrong one. Oh, there we go. Chest. Oh, it's to check chest. Didn't get anything. Oh shit! Woohoohoo! Okay, thanks for leveling me up! Fucking hell! That exploded every barrel around me, so that nearly killed me, my level up. Jesus! Um, alright. Let's. Oh fuck, I didn't want to do that. Let's pick up another one. Let's check another skill. So that one is pretty cool. Let's check this one, because this one you can see in my first look. Um, skill assignment. Let's play that one over there. And um, let's go. Oh, snap. All right. Oh, well, that works. All right. I like the other one better so far. No, Shaman, no. So I hope they eventually will add the voodoo. Was it the voodoo that time? I mean, in uh, Diablo 3, you had. I thought it was the voodoo that That I, I love that one. Templar is pretty freaking cool. The Fudu Doctor is amazing. There 
take it. Dead. Simple dagger. They're dead. Cannot turn that around. Still have my four helpers, so that's good. Oh, that's quite big here. Didn't even know that was quite big. There's nothing in here though. Oh, yeah. Oh, this was where I was supposed to be doing very nice. Get lost in dangers quite easily. There's nothing here. Hello, friends. Wait, can I tip you? Oh, that's too bad that you cannot tip those over. Normally you could do that in Diablo 3 and 2. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's something for... That is not for a character review. That's literally something for... Just to play through. Let's see what this... Ah, it still does like that. Okay, good. Well, with that said, this is it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys liked it, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next one that I make. Bye bye.